Hello everyone, my name is Christian Eschbach, and welcome to another one of my album reviews. Oh, okay, so we are about to talk about the most, I don't want to say most hated, but probably the most hated Metallica album, not including Lulu, St. Anger. St. Anger around Metallica's neck, huh. Mm. So, uh, I don't even know what to say about this one, man. Uh, I like the artwork. The artwork's cool. I like the artwork on the back, too. That's pretty cool. I like the inside artwork, too. Oh, there goes my CD for one of the moments. I, I always like that picture. I always thought that was a cool picture. Uh, let me do a full flip out here. That's some cool artwork. I really dig the artwork. Uh, I also should mention that I have the copy of St. Anger that came with the DVD from them uh, rehearsing all the songs in the studio as a band. And it also has the, I even still have it, the all-important Do Not Lose Your Online Access for St. Anger as well for the website. And... Uh, This is, it's really interesting because I remember listening to this, watching the DVD, going back, listening to this, watching the DVD. I haven't watched the DVD in forever at this point. I've listened to the CD a couple times uh, over the last couple of years. There are versions of the song. I really wish they had just released an audio version of the DVD as well. You know, the, they should have done the Bob Rock CD and the Rob Trujillo live in the studio CD. Because there are a few tracks on the studio CD that honestly felt a little more natural when they were just playing them and jamming them out. Now, I should have rewatched the DVD before doing this so I can remember which songs they were. But you know what, folks? Go do it for yourself! Don't make me do all the work for you. Go enjoy this for yourself. It's a learning experience. <laughs> oh, you're not going to do this for yourself because I don't even know if you can get Saint Anger with the DVD anymore. All right, let's get into the actual songs here. We got Frantic. I don't understand this one. Um, I, I don't. They were experimenting. They were experimenting. Not my type of experimenting, but they were experimenting. Uh, then there's St. Anger itself, the song. I actually enjoy the song St. Anger. Um, I don't have the issue with Lars' snare that everybody else seems to bitch and complain about. I like the sound that they were going for with Lars' snare. Not to say that I like that sound. But I like what they were going for. I like the rawness of it. When you watch the video for St. Anger, when they're doing all the scenes where they're in the prison, the band's playing and stuff like that, the snare feels really kind of natural for a video with that environment and whatnot because there is something just caged in about that sound on that snare something very combustive and explosive trapped behind the membrane of that snare you know so i'm not a fan of it but i get where they were going with it and i don't mind it i don't hate it like everybody else does uh i think it works on songs especially like saying anger uh, then, then we get into some kind of monster. Uh, now, I just, I wasn't even a huge fan of this song when it first came out. I don't mind it, but it's not, it's not great. Um, I understand why they called the movie some kind of monster. It makes sense. And I kind of get this song going along with the documentary, but I... I feel that some kind of monster maybe could have been a little more introspective if they were going to use it intentionally as, you know, a song for the documentary. Uh, Dirty Window. Uh, Dirty Window is all right, I guess. Uh, it, it, it's a track. It's an album filler, I guess. This is the way I really kind of see Dirty Window. Uh, I like Invisible Kid. Uh, I like the, the groove to Invisible Kid. I kind of like the way it moves and flows and stuff like that. I really get into Invisible Kid. 
I think it is a song on the album that is definitely overlooked just a little bit. Um, uh, My World, I'm not a fan of. Uh, Shoot Me Again. I, uh, I like it on the album. There are parts of it I kind of like that. Shoot Me Again, I ain't did yet. You know, that, that, that kind of James dropping that line. That works, you know, because it's totally James. Shoot Me Again, I ain't did yet. You know, it's just totally James. So it works that way. But overall, I'm not a fan of the song. Uh, Sweet Amber. Ooh. This is a song I don't think ever got the love it honestly deserved. I really don't think it did. I think it should have been a much bigger song than it was. I would actually like to hear them redo Sweet Amber now with the sound that they used on 72 Seasons. Uh, there's a few things. Now that they're kind of doing this more jamming kind of stuff where they're doing it like all kind of from their own home studios or their individual studios or whatnot and they're kind of putting it together. I, I would like to see them do stuff like they did with Blackened where they did that new redo of it. I really enjoy the new redo of it. Um, I think Sweet Amber would definitely benefit from that kind of redo. Unnamed Feeling. This is the big track off this album that has held up. It's like the only song on this album that has held up that people actually still like and or want. To. Unnamed Feeling is just this great song. Always had this wonderful vibe to it. Always flowed the best out of every song on this album. And like I said, it's the one that's held up the best, man. Like I really, when I go see them in November, I'm really hoping they play this one. Uh, Purify, Purify really, <sighs> no, a little just too angry for me, I'm just not so big on it, and then All Within My Hands, this is another one where I kind of feel like it kind of got overlooked horribly on this album, because I really dig All Within My Hands, and I really think it has a lot more potential, and had a lot more potential than it got off this album. Uh, I think they kind of screwed up the singles with this album, personally. I Saint Anger, I, I get why that one was a single, okay? And it was, uh... It was probably a good choice as the lead-off single, and probably really should have been... Should have only been the lead-off single. N nothing else. Um, Some Kind of Monster was a single by default because of the documentary... And I really feel that kind of took away some real power from some of these other songs. Unnamed Feeling was a single, and I oddly didn't know about the single until the Metallica released their music video compilation. And when I found it was single, I'm like, oh, well, great. Why didn't this get played back in the day? And the reason why is they released Frantic and Some Kind of Monster before that. And at least as far as I know, because those were the ones I saw before that. And it, they shouldn't have. Frantic never. I really should've. don't understand why Frantic was a single. Whoever had the idea that may thought that Frantic should be a single really kind of botched that one up. It really, all within my hands. Unnamed feeling, sweet amber, and Saint Anger should have been the singles off this. Um, uh, I think unnamed feeling would have been an excellent title for the documentary as well but some kind of monster works and like i said i or all within my hands even could have been a name for the documentary i whatever would have taken to get that song in there as a actual single instead of some kind of monster and like i said i would have replaced frantic with um sweet amber instead those are my thoughts those are my views those are my opinions this is the St. Anger album. It eventually had to be done. So, um, while I was doing the Metallica album, I kind of care for the least being Justice. I figure I would do the one that everybody cares for the least being St. Anger. And I've already covered Lulu, so. All right, let me know what your thoughts and views and opinions are. That's what the comment section is for. Uh, while you're on your way down the comment section, there is a link to Patreon in the little write-up down there. Please click on that. You can throw some money my way that way since YouTube doesn't want to share money. 
And uh, there's a like button, subscribe button, bell for notifications. That will help increase my viewership. So YouTube might want to start sharing some money with me. Peace. Love. Take care.